Years ago, I got this tank from Petco, the Imagitarian Freshwater Frameless Aquarium. My daughter and I set it up with some dragonstone and mopani wood and some plants. After a while, different plants took over and it was a lot of fun to see it evolve. But now it is time for something different. I made this sketch a good while ago, but I am more interested in trying to build the skeleton or the frame for this escape and making a small waterfall on the top. I am starting by using some coarse sponge to cover the bottom intakes of the tank. Now I will use polyurethane foam boards to build the frame and now with the magic of editing it is done. I use crazy glue to put it together but I am also using silicone to secure it to the glass. I am also using silicone to glue lava stones to the frame. I will be using phone spray foam to fill in gaps. And now we wait 24 hours for the foam to expand and dry. Now that it has cured, we can cut off the excess. Now I will smear some spray foam and put some lava stone dust on top to blend. We will let that dry for another 24 hours.
and here is how it looks after a good rinse. Here I'm using polar fill to fill in any gaps on the back. And now we add some aqua soil. I added some sand on the bottom back. And I'm using some pieces of spider wood to add detail. The main plants I'm using for this escape are dwarf baby tears, Monte Carlo, and some pieces of moss. I am also using this piece of Eusephalandra to add some detail. And now it's time to fill the tank. I'm happy to say that the waterfall worked without any issues and it looks really, really good. After looking at it, I decided to add some small rocks to add more detail to the skin. I also decided to add some Anubias Nana Petit. And this is how the escape looks four weeks after.
My daughter and I went to our local fish store and found this lovely beta. And now we get to introduce him to his new home. He seems to be settling in very well in his new home, and we are very happy to have him. We have not picked that name yet, but I'm sure we'll come up with something very soon. Please let me know in the comments below what do you think of this cape. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.